What's up, you guys? Man, I'm uh, just grounding, walking around barefoot on a broken toe. Just when, just when my knee's getting better, I break a toe. But uh, there's not much you can do about that. So I'm just dealing with it. All right. I got a topic, though. So this one's about how your confidence... You know, and obviously when you're on retention, your confidence goes way up. It's just a natural part of the process. When your confidence is up, people with low self-esteem, people who don't like themselves, cannot stand you. They're threatened by you. They're intimidated by you. They flat out don't like you. Your confidence to them reads as you think you're better than them. That's what they think it is. And it's also, they're just jealous because they don't like themselves. So they see somebody that does and they're like, screw this guy. I've had lifelong friends, man, who I have never done wrong to, been nothing but good to, would like take a bullet for some of these people, man. And, and they see me excelling in life and they, and they just, they hate it. They want to throw shade on it. They want to convince themselves there's something wrong with me. And then they'll just watch what I do. They lurk. They study. And it's like, at some point in this journey, what you got to realize is like, these people are stuck. And if that's how they're going to be, if they're going to see you doing better and better, and they're not gonna congratulate you. They're not gonna be happy for you. What does that say? What does that say about them, man? That's not a friend. They're not your friends. Nope. See, that's one of the biggest gifts. That's one of the biggest rewards. One of the biggest benefits of semen retention, you guys. You'll learn who your real friends are. And, and at first, it's a hard pill to swallow because a lot of people that were so down for you when you were doing bad. Now that you're doing good, where are they at? They literally don't like it. They can't stand it. I mean, that's, to me, that's kind of like disgusting, actually. That's like, that's gross, man. Look, life is not a competition. It's just not like that. We're all brothers and sisters. That's how I see it. I want to see everybody doing well. I hate to see anybody not doing well. That bums me out. I see anybody doing really well. Somebody's got more money than me. Somebody's got a bigger business. Somebody's got a better physique than me. Somebody's got whatever. I'm stoked. I'm literally stoked for them. And you know what? That is a gift. Because then it's like my happiness potential in life is very, very high because you see, I receive joy, not just from my own successes, but from the success of others. What a gift. See, that's why I like, I feel rich, man. I feel like I'm, it, you know, my bank account doesn't really mean that much. Like that's important too, but Look, I'm rich in spirit because I feel happy when other people are thriving. And I don't see it as a competition. So that's a blessing. That's a blessing. These people that are jealous of confident people that, it's, that can't stand to see you excel and thrive, that are intimidated by your confidence... The same way what I'm talking about, where I'm at, this is a blessing. What they're, they're under a curse. They're under a spell. And it's sad. It's really sad for them. So as we walk this path, as we become more and more confident, as we learn how to love ourselves truly and walk with our, with our heads up and our shoulders back, look people in the eye. Be, be your authentic self. Just let it all out there. Just shine. Just be you. Put in work. 
have motivation, discipline, consistency. You get results that way. You start to thrive. People start to notice it. You shine, you glow. And then as part of this process, certain people are going to be like, yo, you inspire me. Those are your people. Those are your people. The ones that, that look at you funny, look at you sideways, the ones that can't congratulate you when you're doing well, those people have got to go. Healthy boundaries. Because they're like energy vampires, man. And they're like, it's weird because they don't like you, but at the same time, they're low-key kind of obsessed with you. Because they don't like themselves. And they're like, what is it? They're trying to figure it out. That's why they watch. They're trying to study your ass. They're like, what? Is it? Is he on drugs? Like, what? Like... How is he so confident? How is he so okay with himself? You know, and, and I've even had people like accuse me of being on like steroids and stuff in the gym. No, ne no, dude. It's called sunshine, raw milk, fruit, fresh air, grounding, discipline, commitment. That's it. It's not complicated, dude. You know, I, I, no drugs. I'm high as fuck on life. I don't need drugs. What do I need drugs for? It's like a joke at this point. So it's funny. People literally will like, they'll, they'll just do mental gymnastics to come up with like, you, oh, well, he must be cheating. It's like, no, dude. Quite the contrary, man. I just stopped busting nuts. I stopped wasting my energy. Now I have more of it. Isn't that funny how that works? Now I can put that energy into whatever I want to put it into self-improvement therefore I'm confident it's simple but man does it upset some people really really does but hey it's all part of the journey it's nothing to get too hung up on just don't hesitate to let people go cut them out of your life block their numbers if you have to block them on social if you have to It's all good because look it's like it's like emptying the cup man you empty out that cup of all the filth all the nonsense all the people that were never really meant for you now you're open now now it's an empty vessel to receive new things new people new blessings actual like friends true friendship man it's, it's great so all right it's enough out of me i love you guys peace